Hello friends, Dr. David Katz here with another COVID reality check. This one is about denominators and why epidemics are like icebergs. So th this is why testing is so important and, and why it, it really is a terrible liability that the United States is so far behind where we ought to be with testing. There's a new infectious disease and it makes people sick and you never heard of it before, nobody's ever heard of it before, nobody was looking for it, uh, who do you find who has this disease? And the answer is fairly obvious. You find the sickest people. The sickest people bring the disease to your attention. They call 911. They show up at hospitals. They call their doctor. Who don't you find? You don't find the people who have mild versions of this that could pass for uh, a bad night's sleep, uh, a cold, something that is unremarkable. And you certainly don't find people who have no symptoms at all. So the, the, the way you solve that problem is you have to go out and look for cases. And in, in the COVID pandemic, uh, the only country that did that early was South Korea. And it's why my position about the pandemic w was so influenced early on by reporting out of South Korea. They did 200,000 tests in and around Seoul very early, and they tested everybody. They, they didn't just test people who had symptoms, because that only tells you what's going on in the people who tend to get really sick. What you want to know is how many people tend to get really sick in the first place, and the only way to know that is to establish the denominator, total people infected, including the people infected with no symptoms at all. So 200,000 tests later, uh, South Korea was reporting that 98 to 99 percent of all cases of COVID-19 were mild, and that's really never changed. And globally, where we have good data, we have reason to think that the case fatality rate with this infection is a fraction of a percent. But what we're reporting right now in the United States, close to 140,000 deaths out of fewer than 4 million cases, uh, it's a very high percentage, uh, up around 5%. So it, it looks like the actual fatality rate from COVID-19 is an order of magnitude lower than what we're seeing in the United States. Now, does that mean that this virus is much more lethal if you happen to be American? No, of course not. What it means is we have massively underdetected the cases in our country. We probably have at least 10 times as many. So if we have detected something close to 4 million cases, we have something much closer to 40 million cases in the country. And that's good news. It, it may sound like bad news. Oh my goodness, so many people have this. No, no. What it means is overwhelmingly here, as in South Korea, as in other places around the world, overwhelmingly, not reliably, not in, in any given individual necessarily, but overwhelmingly at the population level, this is a mild disease. And that's how epidemics and pandemics are like icebergs. The part that you see sticking out, the visible, obvious part above the waterline, is the small part. You have to look hard to see the bulk of a pandemic because more often than not, most people have milder versions of the infection. The most severe come reliably to your intention. The, the milder versions tend not to. Uh, and this is the critical argument for doing more testing because we really have no notion of the severity of the infection overall, how many people are likely to wind up needing the hospital as this spreads around the country, how many are likely to wind up needing the ICU, how many are, are subject to the risk of dying from this infection if we don't have the denominator. You can talk about numbers without a denominator. You can talk about the numbers in a hospital. You can talk about the numbers dying. You cannot talk about rates because a rate is how many per thousand, how many per 10,000, how many per million, and it makes a massive difference. If four people get infected, and three people die, it's a horrendously scary disease. But if three people die and four million have been infected, or 40 million have been infected, well, all of a sudden it's not so scary. Yeah, it's tragic for the three people who died, but the risk to any one of us, vanishingly smaller. So we, we've been chasing our tails from the start. We never did enough testing to establish the denominator. We still haven't. And again, uh, looking at global data, I would suggest that 
There are 10 times as many cases in the United States as we have detected to date. And, and the good news about that is if indeed that's true and eventually testing should get us to the point where we're able to say, yeah, that, that clearly is true, uh, then many more of us than we know have had this already. Many more of us than, have, than we have documented uh, have established immunity to this and we're much closer to herd immunity. So I, I view that much larger denominator as good news. But critically, you must know the denominator. It basically, it, it's sort of the sine qua non of training in epidemiology. You don't make it through week one of Epi 101 without learning to ask routinely, what's the denominator?